Hello and welcome to the video. Now, if you're anything like me, you love the idea of not doing work when you're supposed to. There are just so many more things that are just so much more interesting than sitting down, you know, doing work and writing an essay. Now, staying motivated is super, super important, especially whilst at university, because it will allow you to produce your best possible piece of work, which will allow you to get better grades as a result. I know that finding motivation can be hard at the best of times, especially with the current situation of whatever this is. You're not in your direct learning environment, so it can be hard to find motivation and force yourself to do the work you're supposed to. Instead of being sat in a seminar surrounded by people and support to allow you to do the best work you can possibly do, you're now forced to find the motivation yourself while sitting in your bedroom. So with that in mind, I have created a list of a few things that can help you stay motivated, especially during this weird time. Now don't worry, I'll keep this video as short and sweet as possible to stop you going down the YouTube rabbit hole and wasting four to five hours of your life. Because trust me, we've all been there. Oh, um, right. Yeah, where was I? The first tip is make sure you do something positive in the morning to help boost your mood for the rest of the day. Now that can be something as simple as eating a piece of fruit, doing a bit of exercise, or maybe just not spending an hour of your life on TikTok in the morning, which I'm definitely guilty for. Speaking of exercise, that's tip number two. Now exercise is fundamentally one of the greatest things you can do, not only for your physical health, but also your mental health. And the same can be said to keep you motivated. You know, just being outside, breathing in the air, having a fairly nice view, and you know, just not being confined to a room or a bedroom, for example, for an extended period of time can really help you change your perspective on things and may even give you new ideas for something like an essay. Now, it doesn't have to be something like a walk. If you don't have time or you don't really want to leave the house for whatever reason, um, you can do a home workout circuit. Um, I know personally that I used to really enjoy doing that, but now I find that going for a walk is a little bit more therapeutic. So I personally prefer that. If you are interested in, uh, in doing a home workout, I actually made a video for Student Life um, about home workouts, some of the things you can do using items you have in your house so it's relatively inexpensive and um, i'll leave the link for that in the description if you want to watch that after this and if you live quite a busy life and you think i don't really have time to you know go out and do exercise then i have a solution for you this is a plan that you can implement into your day-to-day -day life that will encourage you to do exercise but won't take up like massive amounts of your day Imagine you're still able to go to something like an office, for example, to go to work. Imagine that you're commuting to work by walking. So what you would do is say you start work at half nine, maybe half an hour before, go out and commute to work. So in my case, that would be a walk around here, for example. Once you've done that and you're home, you can begin your work. But remember, if you commute to work, you also have to commute back from work. So that will encourage you to do at least two forms of exercise a day, whether that be a walk, a run, uh, a bike, let's say. By doing this and forcing yourself to be out of the house for at least 40 minutes, really, it not only keeps you fit and healthy, but also will help you keep your mind strong as well. I, I personally don't see a downside to going out and doing exercise. I know people go, oh, I can't be bothered and, and stuff like that, but genuinely, I, I see no downside to doing it. The World Health Organization recommends that people between the age of 18 and 64 do at least 150 minutes of moderate exercise throughout the week. Or alternatively, from my perspective, the best thing I personally have done is between 40 and 60 minutes a day. And it's been proven that between that time scale is the best way to improve your mental health. As long as you are doing exercise, getting out, and you know, just really allowing yourself to change your perspective on things, it'll make you so much better, so much more motivated, and make you better at doing your work. Once you're back from doing your exercise, it's time to get to work. Now, instead of just jumping straight into doing your work, there's another really good tip to help you stay motivated, and that is making lists. Making lists of what you need to do throughout the day will allow your mind to be able to dissect exactly what it is you need to do, instead of just sitting there and panicking and thinking, I've got 150 different things that I need to do in the six hour period that I've got. Now, you're probably looking at your list and thinking, that's a lot of stuff that I need to do. How am I gonna be able to do that? Or how am I gonna be able to stay motivated to ensure that all of those things on the list are done in a day? The final tip I have is the Pomodoro effect or the 2020 rule. Now, that doesn't mean staying inside, not seeing your mates and going out to do fun things. That's a different 2020 rule. The 2020 rule that I'm talking about is doing 20 minutes of work to 20 minutes of not doing work. 
Studies have shown that this is one of the best ways to stay motivated because you are forcing yourself to be motivated and do work for 20 minutes and then you have 20 minutes off to let your brain relax. Doing short bursts of highly concentrated, motivated work is probably better than just sitting there for an hour pretending to do work or allowing yourself to be procrastinated when you're revising and end up going up on YouTube and falling down the YouTube rabbit hole again. So the 2020 rule is probably the best way for you to stay motivated and allow you to begin that process of being more motivated whilst at home. And that's it, there are just a few of the tips that I have found that help me stay motivated whilst working from home. If you found this video interesting or helpful, make sure you give it a like, as well as staying locked to all of our other social media channels, including Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and TikTok. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, I'll see you later.